if you really want to be successful as a realtor, everyone defines success different. Let's say you want to do a lot where you never, let's say you want to never think about money in real estate. I promise you, you'll never be able to do it as a solo agent. You won't. You can make good money, but I'm talking you never want to think about real estate. You want to make millions and millions of dollars. I'm talking two plus a mil. You're not going to do it without leveraging other people. Assistants, transaction coordinators, uh, buyer's agents, listing coordinators. You have to understand that you are the driver of business, and when you're the driver of business, you can't be at every listing presentation. You can't represent and drive around every buyer. You can't do the paperwork. You can't do the marketing. You gotta put people in place. And so you have to decide in your real estate career, in your life, where do I wanna be as a realtor? Let me reverse engineer and say, okay, if I wanna make $2 million, how many homes do I need to sell? If I need to sell this many homes, I know I can't do it alone, so who do I need to employ? Buyers agents, listing coordinators, admins, assistants, TCs. Where I would start first is hire on a TC, not do your, 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 your paperwork. Hire on an assistant, not do your marketing, not schedule your appointments. Then you go into a buyer's agent, then you go into a listing quarter, and then you get to manage it, which realtors are not the greatest managers. I was phenomenal at it, yes, not, real, not many realtors can do it, but I tell you, if you have some management skills and you have those people in place, you can actually set up a business to make a lot of money, a lot, but it's risky and it's work and it's hard work, and it's coaching, and it's training, and it's motivating, baby. You gotta be the straw that serves a drink for your team.